Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're excited to show you the 10 best places to visit in London. Did you know that London has been around since before the Roman Empire and it was originally a settlement of the Celtic tribe known as the Trinovans? But it was the Romans who really put London on the map, giving it the name Londinium in AD 43. They built a wall around the city, which is now known as the London Wall and the remains of the wall can still be seen today in the financial district of the city. London continued to grow and develop over the centuries, and by the 19th century it had become the largest city in the world, then in 2012, it played host to the Olympic Games attracting millions of visitors from around the world. Today, London is an incredibly diverse city, with over 300 languages spoken and it is also home to some of the world's most famous landmarks. So, let's get started to know the 10 best spots to visit in London. 1. Buckingham Palace The Buckingham Palace is located in the heart of London, and it has been the official residence of the British royal family since 1837. Every year, millions of tourists come to visit the palace, and the changing of the guard ceremony is one of the main attractions. The palace also hosts many different events throughout the year, including the Queen's Garden Party, which is held in the summertime in the palace's gardens. Another attraction is the Queen's Gallery, which is open to the public and showcases artwork from the Royal Collection. The palace also has a number of curiosities, such as the Royal Muse, which is a stable for the horses and coaches that are used for official ceremonies and its own post office, which is open to the public and offers a number of collectible stamps and coins. 2. London Eye this giant Ferris wheel is the perfect way to take in the sights of the city and experience a unique view of the city skyline. Standing at a massive 135 meters tall, the London Eye was the tallest Ferris wheel in the world when it opened in 2000. Today, it's one of the most popular tourist attractions in the city, and over 3.5 million people ride it each year. The London Eye is more than just a Ferris wheel, it's also a hub of activity. It houses a 4D cinema experience, a champagne bar, and the London Eye 4D experience, which uses state-of-the-art technology to tell the story of London's history. When you step onto the London Eye, you get a unique view of London's skyline. From the top, you can see up to 40 kilometers away, and you can spot some of the city's most famous landmarks, including Big Ben and Buckingham Palace. 3. Tower of London for centuries, this fortress has served as a royal palace, prison, and armory, and today, it stands as a reminder of the city's rich history. The Tower of London was built in 1078 by William the Conqueror and quickly became a popular destination for visitors from all over the world. One of the tower's most famous attractions is the Tower Ravens. Legend has it that if the Ravens ever leave the tower, the Kingdom of England will fall. The tower houses a total of seven ravens and they are carefully monitored by an official raven master. It also houses the famous crown jewels, a priceless collection of diamonds, gold, and rubies, one of the most valuable collections in the world. From high-ranking nobles to common criminals, the walls tell the stories of those who were once held within the tower's walls. 4. British Museum one of the oldest and most famous museums in the world, it's home to a staggering 8 million objects, from all over the world and throughout history. It's impossible to see everything in one visit, but here are some of the most impressive pieces on display. The Rosetta Stone, one of the most iconic, is a stone tablet discovered in 1799 inscribed with three versions of a decree from 196 BC, in Greek, Egyptian hieroglyphs, and Demotic script. It was key in deciphering ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. The Sutton Hoo helmet discovered in 1939, is thought to date from the 7th century, and was found with other treasures inside a burial mound. The Parthenon sculptures are among the most visited displays. These sculptures were removed from the Parthenon in Athens by agents of the Earl of Elgin in the early 19th century and transported to London. Egyptian mummies are also a must-see. These mummies, from the late period of ancient Egypt, are some of the oldest and most well-preserved in the world. 5. National Gallery This stunning building is home to a world-renowned collection of over 2,300 paintings, spanning more than 600 years of art history. 
It's one of the city's premier tourist attractions, but what exactly can you see here? First, there are the iconic masterpieces such as the ancient Greek sculpture of the Laocoon and the modern abstracts of Jackson Pollock. The gallery also offers a variety of interactive activities for visitors of all ages. From drawing classes to artists' talks, there's something interesting for everyone. It also hosts temporary exhibitions throughout the year like the works of Johannes Vermeer, the Impressionists, and beyond. The National Gallery is located in the heart of London, providing easy access to all the city's other attractions. From the nearby Trafalgar Square to the River Thames and beyond, the National Gallery is a perfect starting point for anyone looking to explore the city. 6. St. Paul's Cathedral This iconic cathedral is the seat of the Bishop of London, and the first St. Paul's Cathedral was built in 604 AD by King Ethelbert of Kent, and it has been rebuilt several times over the years. The current building dates from the late 17th century and was designed by the renowned architect Sir Christopher Wren. It is famous for its impressive dome, which is 365 feet tall and the second largest in the world. It also has a spectacular interior, with a massive nave, a marble altar, and over 200 stained glass windows. The cathedral also has many fascinating curiosities. The Whispering Gallery, located near the dome, is an acoustic marvel whispers spoken at one side of the gallery can be heard at the other side. There are also several tombs and monuments to explore, including the tomb of Admiral Horatio Nelson, who died in the Battle of Trafalgar. 7. Big Ben It's the nickname for the Great Bell of the Clock at the north end of the Palace of Westminster in London. The bell is actually named Elizabeth Tower, but the name Big Ben was first used back in 1858. It was named in honor of Sir Benjamin Hall, who was the commissioner of works at the time. The tower stands at 96 meters high and is one of the most recognizable landmarks in London. The Great Clock of Westminster was started on May 31, 1859 and it is still ticking today. The clock dials are 23 feet in diameter and are illuminated at night. The bell itself weighs 14 tons and its bongs can be heard from up to 5 miles away. It's a very popular tourist attraction, with over 3 million people visiting each year. The Elizabeth Tower also houses a set of bells that are rung on special occasions such as New Year's Eve and Remembrance Sunday. The bells also chime every hour, with the hourly chimes playing the Westminster Quarters. 8. Westminster Abbey This magnificent building is one of London's most iconic landmarks and a must-see for anyone visiting the city. The Abbey has a rich history that dates back over 1,000 years. Did you know that the Abbey has been the coronation site of every English and British monarch since 1066? That means that it has witnessed over 37 coronations. The Abbey is also home to numerous tombs, monuments, and memorials, including those of 17 monarchs, scientists like Charles Darwin and Isaac Newton, and literary greats such as Geoffrey Chaucer and Charles Dickens. The Abbey is also a great place to explore and learn about its architecture. It features a variety of different architectural styles including Gothic, Romanesque, and Renaissance. Of course, the Abbey isn't just a historical site, it's also a working church that holds regular services. The Abbey also highlights contemporary art and music, with performances by world-famous musicians and special exhibitions. 9. Tower Bridge Built in 1894, it's one of the most recognizable symbols of the British capital. The bridge is a combined bascule and suspension bridge, which allows boats to pass beneath it. You can admire the Victorian Gothic style of the bridge from the walkways located 42 meters above the River Thames. On a clear day, you can see far beyond the bridge, with views of St. Paul's Cathedral, the Shard, and the Globe Theatre. The bridge also houses the Tower Bridge Exhibition, which tells the story of the bridge's construction and operation and you can even watch a film about the bridge's history and learn about the Victorian engineering that made it possible. Tower Bridge is a popular spot for photographers, as well as a great place to take a stroll along the River Thames. 10. Hyde Park No trip to Hyde Park would be complete without a visit to the Princess Diana Memorial Fountain. This large stone fountain is a tribute to the late princess and a symbol of hope, 
peace, and reconciliation. Heading to the east side of the park, you'll find Speaker's Corner. This is one of London's most famous spots, where people gather to express their opinions on a variety of topics, from politics to religion. Nearby, you'll find the bronze statue of Peter Pan. This is one of the park's most beloved attractions and a great spot for a photo. For those of you who are interested in history, you can visit the Old Marble Arch. This grand monument was originally located at the entrance of Buckingham Palace and has since been moved to Hyde Park. Finally, don't miss the beautiful Rose Garden located in the west side of the park, it's a great spot to stop and smell the roses while admiring the colorful blooms. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to ensure you'll receive notifications when new content is released. Additionally, be sure to check out all of the tips written in the description, as they will provide you with even more useful information. Finally, we would love to hear your comments and suggestions for future videos, so please leave us a message below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.